Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Pokemon Sword. And I forgot what I was doing. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And if you like the video, then like the video. Maybe share a comment with your thoughts if you want. And let's figure out what we're doing. Last time we went to the slumbering weld wield. And we're telling our mom we're going. I did voices last time, and Hops was a bit, <laughs> let's just say gruff, so I'm going to have to change his voice. Um, Mom's voice, I can try to do the same. We'll see. I'm not voicing Pokemon, though. Only people with names. See how they have a name up there? I'll only be voicing people like that. Well now, isn't Sobble just a sweetheart? I think this is supposed to take place in Scotland, yet I'm reading them as, like, high society English. Ah yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Yes. Here we are, a bit of pocket money, pocket money for your journey. Pocky money, I'm going to spend them all on pockies. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sobble will battle to the very end for you. Are you saying that he'll die for me? That's sad. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Wow. <laughs> it's Waluigi, he's back. And you, Sobble, look, look after my little James. I get better at voices, probably, maybe, maybe not. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I like that saying. Hey, oh, she seems happy, that's good. A time to become the Pokemon champion, I suppose. So, I'm in an office now. I've had quite the upgrade, meaning my grandfather is not here right now. So I'm using his office, and hopefully it's not as echoey, but I have a chair now so I won't get sore and have to stop at random times. Um, fair warning, if you haven't watched the first video, first of all, go and watch it so you know what's going on. And for two, for second, for B, option B, I'm going to be skipping most Pokemon battles unless it's something good. Mostly because I don't really think they're fun to watch. If it's between a trainer, yeah, I'll record it. But it, maybe if it's only a cool Pokemon while I keep it going. Oh boy. I have to figure out how to voice him now. Here we go. No. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. I don't know if it sounds like a girl or just like me. Guess I'll have to train up Score Bunny a bit, having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. Boy, if this is any more tutorial. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white Pokeball. So, a Pokeball. Uh, mark on the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Yeah, thanks for that. Should I catch any of these? Do I have any Pokeballs? Let me check. I don't know if I do or not. I have potions, and I have Pokeballs, so I can actually catch these. Oh yeah, by the way, I have both of these, as you can see. And I'm going to do them in order that they came out. So first of all, after I finish the main story, I'm going to go over to the Isle of Armor. And then I'm going to go to the Crown Tundra. And by then, I hope... I'm getting some comments and you'll be able to tell me what you want to see from those places. Like, what kind of legendary should I get from the Crown Tundra? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Let's see, let's not. I want a Pokemon, but I don't want any of these. I want some different Pokemon. Like ones you don't see everywhere. Because... Everyone loves Corviknight, which is what this Rookity evolves into, but I don't really want him. 
So I guess I'm just going to try my best. Hello. How are you? Bra. Ain't he adorable? Yes, the champion is here. You know, it's probably against the law to do that, by the way. Blocking off the Pokemon Center. Here we go. Gotta get our... Oh, crap. You have a voice, too. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. Don't you mean pants? See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having a Pokemon with you? Dude, I've lived in this town. I know where I'm going. I'm not as pants with direction as you. I know I'm sure glad I have Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. It's all about you, huh? Now, in we go. Grawr. Raw XD. I'm not good at doing girl voices, so Sonya is gonna have to be incredibly butch. As you can probably tell by my voice. Mm -mm. Not a very good one. Bar work. I am gonna have to catch a Yamper just because I love him. He is beautiful. A ball of sunshine. I just skipped through that. Uh, look, looking. No, you know what? Okay. Looking for another never be seen before super strong Pokemon. I'd wish you stop with these outlandish requests. I have to stand up, like sit up straighter to do that. Guess I'm just getting into character, I suppose. Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. Well, jeez. She makes food you can gobble up down in a flash. You can gobble down in a flash? No, thanks, I'll use the American term. What kind of introduction is that? Did you just forget we're rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. I want to battle Sonya. If she did the gym challenge, she's got to have some powerful Pokemon, can't she? Anyway, nice to meet you. My name's Sonya, the professor's assistant. The time is 3 p.m. where I am. This is James. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Well, geez, you brushed that right off. Rude. Bye, Amper. What does he think I am? He always got his head in the clouds. He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Bruce. <laughs> hey, I have a Pokemon, I have a Rotom. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry, so tell me. Do you own... Do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. I'm a freaking Pokemon master. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so you can use your Pokedex on your Rotom phone. I tamed the Pokedex. That's good. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my gran. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say gran like that. Could you let gran know you've received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. The only house along Route 2. Woo. Okay, let's do that spinning thing. Yay. Oh, I couldn't get that going for long, but... <sighs> I wish I had my own... Oh, hi. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, right? As you can see, the battery's low. I hope it doesn't die while I'm doing this. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. 
Well, that's nice of you. I still don't know why, though. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points, get low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can u even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. I'd rather not. Because <laughs> that just seems painful. <laughs> hi, person. And hi, Wooloo man. Ew, it's him again. Oh. Got your Pokemon from... Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's about time we meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy on... To spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, James. Bet you've never been inside one. Have you forgotten? We live in this town. I've probably explored the Pokedex or the Pokemon Center. Level with me, James. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Who do you think I am? Then I don't think you need me to tell you what to do when you already know it. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Yeah, you're right. Cheers! I'm always good enough, though. I'm always good, though. <laughs> I'm heading your route, too, James. Come find me. Maybe when you're done here. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but it's better than a freaking gruff biker voice. I don't need to heal my Pokemon right now. Listen, James, I've been thinking. If you've got a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? What's that? What's, what's the gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is, you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Glee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. Well, you're not. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she can help. You've got to take that part too. A proper rival needs is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of the route too. So let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. He sounds like an anime protagonist. But it's easy to do and it doesn't kill my voice, so it's good enough. <laughs> oh, there's something there. I saw it. I saw a sparkle. I might need that. So the rest of this place looks super cartoony, but this water looks beautiful. And you can actually see the reflection. I think that's called ray, tra ray tracing. I don't know if the... Um, Reflection is exact, but it still looks very pretty. Oh boy, he's back. Over here, James. <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright, James. It's time we filled our teams up a bit. Oh, hi. Just about ran into us. And here I am to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope filling that Pokedex. Lee, where do you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make a good team against someone's opponents, but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon to cover another's weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time and I'll show you how it's done. Typical Lee. Typical what? What did he do? I'll give you some more Pokemons in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? 20 Pokeballs? Oh boy, I'm not catching 20 Pokemon. I don't even know if I want the Pokemon here, okay? And of course, they get EXP points from joining a battle. 
So take on other trainers who you meet along the way, along the path to help you Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt, but even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Yeah, I'll try. The only one I'm not gonna like get rid of is my Sobble. I'm gonna keep him with Sobble the whole game, because that's sure how it's gonna work. Anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be so shocked when she sees. Okay, bye. <laughs> But that kind of messed up. <laughs> okay, there's that one. That one. <gasps> Yamper! Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, he's so cute. I'm catching this Pokemon, so I'm definitely keeping this in. I'll keep it in if I'm catching a Pokemon or the Pokemon's just interesting and cute. It's the same level as me, too. Sobble, you pound. That didn't do any damage, even though it was a critical hit. Usually when I play Pokemon, I hyper level my Pokemon so they one shot most things but I won't be doing that this um, playthrough mostly for the reason that I don't want to like make it seem unfun to watch like you ain't watching Pokemon for the story no you're watching it for the Pokemon battles and like, finding rare Pokemon but even I don't know what rare Pokemon are in this game it's just Pokemon I know legendary is rare I know I really want to do the uh, raid dens. Maybe some of you will do raid dens with me. Jesus. Oh, that. Oh, that. No, thank you. And I'm paralyzed. Attack it again. I need to get it in the red. Don't use tackle now. Oh. Oh, God. Six health. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna. X use. And you need to work because I don't want Sobble fainting and me losing you. Come on. Come on. Yes. That would have been so embarrassing if I just, the first Pokemon battle I did, I lost. Like, wild Pokemon battle. First real one, at least. And I'm level 8 now. And learned Bind. A very oh, excuse me. A very useless move. I'm gonna keep it Yamper. I don't know what... Um, should I keep it Yamper? Yeah, I'll keep it Yamper. I think I said last episode, check that out if you haven't, Hopeless Shill, um, that I'll be playing a Nuzlocke on Twitch one of these days. Which is probably a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. Because that's sure smart. Pokemon Center, my Pokemon is paralyzed. And I have the Pokemon who did it. <laughs> yes, I would. Oh, this Yamper is so adorable. Adorable. I love it. Thanks for waiting. Sobble should be, and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Wait, I know it's Nurse Joy, but why doesn't she have a name? I'm not doing a voice for her anyway, because we're probably just going to say repeating lines. Whoa. That looks crazy from up here. I'm already 20, in, 20 minutes into recording, and I don't know how long my Switch battery is going to last. So, not Switch battery, my Joy-Con battery. Choodle. Should I get a Choodle? Should I get a Choodle? I won't get a Choodle. I think they run from you, too. Maybe I should get a Choodle. I'm very indecisive. Oh boy, a small child. Time to beat him up. In a Pokemon battle, of course. Gotta be family friendly. Da, 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 da. I gave it my own spin. Oh god, this child looks tired. A bit. Use water gun. It's effective enough. Better than pound. I should stop whistling. It's probably bad for the microphone. Or just bad for your ears if people are wearing headphones. Water gun again. That got him down half health. And now you're dead. Do you add another one? Or is it just another squovit? 
Ooh, I'm almost leveled up. If I get this one, then I'll level up. Oh. I'll have to go beat up some random Pokemon so I can level up. Where's a Choodle? I want him now. Oh, that's a Rookity. Oh, well, I'll just beat you up. I'll see you after the battle. <laughs> it's not gonna... Oh, never mind. Because that was smart. Jesus, I can't believe it just did that. <laughs> Pokeball. Two potions. Man, they really think I'm bad. Then again, I almost died on the first Pokemon battle, so... Yeah, maybe I am kind of bad. Three Pokeballs. Now where's a Choodle? Jeez, that Rookity is just having a dance-off over there. You know what? I won't hit you just because of that. The strength of combination. I don't know what, if that's what she said, but I didn't really care to read what she said. Hello, last. You have the Joodle. I was looking for that. You're mean. That's what you are. You're mean. And I don't know what you are. I think you're a rock. Maybe. But, oh, that didn't do anything. So, if you're not, then I'm going... You know what? I'm just going to water gun anyway. I don't know if you're a water type. You look like a turtle. You could be. It's not very effective. That's smart. If that's not very effective, would Nuzzle be? Because I have that. I have Yamper. Yeah, I almost dropped my controller. So, while I'm... Totally demolishing this Joodle. How about a little story? I have a capture card, and that's how I'm able to record these things. And I was plugging in the capture card to the Switch dock, and my hand slipped, and I punted my controller across the room by accident. Come on, pound. You, you can win. And you won. Sorry, Joodle, but I had to level up somehow. And it literally hit the wall that's across from me. <laughs> and all I said when that happened was, Whoops! <laughs> like that was something normal that usually happens. Just, whoops. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon again. Bye. Maybe I'll find a Choodle along the way. Let me switch out for Yamper first. I'm just not doing well. <laughs> I'm having issues. <laughs> Clearly. I think my controller is dying a bit too fast now. After I'm done with the Pokemon Research Lab, there's a Toodle. There's a Toodle! I'll end the episode, and next episode I'll probably be headed to the wild area. Which I won't be doing a lot of dens unless it's with other people. Mostly because I don't want to use the XP candy. Okay, don't kill it, but take it, oh, take it down a notch. Don't flinch. Yay. Oh, that didn't do a lot. Do a lot, but you are paralyzed. I'm gonna have a choodle. And people are gonna be jealous. Who people? Hop, the anime protagonist. <laughs> I just imagined a Super Smash Bros. entrance. Hop, the anime protagonist. <laughs> Here he is, ready to send out a multitude of Pokemon. Oh, don't die. Okay. Don't tackle either, rude. I think I can catch him now. X. It's a good thing I'm going to heal these things because I'm just... bad. All my Pokemon are low now. Catch. Low battery again. Yeah, I kind of figured. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll charge it after. Level 8 now. My Pokemon are going to be so high level, no one's going to ever be able to beat me, ever. I'm not going to name it either. Actually, I am going to name it. I'm going to name it Chomps. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp. Okay. M. P. Chomps, not Chomp. It's female? Oh, well. <laughs> it's Chomps anyway. It's a gender-neutral term. And this is a long walk now. 
So, uh, another Tootle. I don't want you. That was dangerous. A Nick it. Nick it tit. One of the two. <laughs> this is probably Nick it. Just imagine I said Nick it, not Nick it tit. And then I said it again. Okay. Should I dress up a bit? I'm sure there's some good fashion choices here. So I'll go do that after I heal my Pokemon and it can help me pick out what I'm going to wear. Yes, thank you. Take my Pokemon for a few minutes. A few seconds. God, if it took a few minutes, that'd be chaos. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for healing them. Let me put Sobble back in the front spot because he's the first Pokemon I got. Yamper. Do, 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 do. And now let's go freaking wear some clothes, you know? Heck yeah. There, now I look pretty. I have longer hair, so when I get to a place where I can change my hair, I'll probably make it longer. I don't like having long hair, so maybe I'll just change it to what I want it to be. Take it. If you're thinking of having long hair as a guy, I know long hair is like pretty for girls, I guess, but um, just long hair all over just sucks. Because <laughs> I have to carry a bag most of the time, or not most of the time, sometimes, and my hair gets stuck and it just pulls whenever I move and it hurts so much. <laughs> So, after winter's done, I'm definitely going to cut it. It may be pretty to some people, but it's painful to me. Ooh, is that a zigzagoon? I might catch that. I couldn't beat Hop. Oh, wait. Why am I giving him Hop voice? Couldn't beat Hop, but I'm going to beat you? Yeah, right. I'm going to beat Hop later. Time to kick... Ooh, not kill. Time to kick some child butt. A blip up. Or a blip up. A, a, let's just read it. A blip bug. A blip blip. That's what it is. Oh, and pound. It's a bug, so water's not gonna do much. Oh, isn't that a strong move in higher levels? Yep, that would be a yep. <laughs> yep, that would be a yep. I can talk, I swear. I know I haven't been able to talk good for a while, but I can talk, I swear. I'm not awful. I don't know how good the game audio is right now, but I did do a few tests before. I think it's okay. And there goes the blip bug. You can't beat me either, small child. Change your train. Yeah. Train your Pokemon more. Unnick it. That's yes. I was correct. Switch Pokemon. I'll uh, do Yamper. Wait, what does he have? I think Nicket is a Dark type. So, I won't use Bite on it, as much as I like the move Bite. Don't take that out of context. But, I'm pretty sure Yamper will be able to take it down. Big stretch. This chair is wildly uncomfortable, I need to switch it out. Why do they disappear when they use Quick Attack? Are they that quick? Are they moving at the speed of sound? Oh, that didn't do a lot. My damage just isn't, just isn't good. That's why it's not doing anything good. Tail Whip. Is that mud all over its tail? Is that what I'm seeing? Is it wearing boots? It is. That does look like it's just dirt all over its tail. I thought it wanted to be clean. It could be its coloration, but usually I don't think coloration works like that. Come on. I'm whittling it down just slowly. Come on. I'd catch your Pokemon if I could, but that'd be stealing and I'm not a Team Rocket member. Or what's this one here? Uh, Team Yell. I think they were in the trailer too. I don't know. Imagine if like they weren't and you were just walking around the first day you got the game like, oh wow, the first game that doesn't have any like, 
ugly ones that are goofy like Team Skull was. And then you walk into the hotel and see Team Yell just screaming at a bellhop. He's like, nope, they're annoying. Oh well. It's not fun, but it happens. Okay, Hop. I'm gonna catch the Zigzagoon first. Ooh, is there something there? Zigzagoon. What's with Pokemon always saying their name? That Was that ever explained? They sound like... Oh! You know what? You can not get hit again, because that was a bad idea. Ooh, I'm about to level up again. I wanted to catch you, not kill you. But if you don't get caught, I'm gonna have to kill you. Yay! I think Zigzagoons are mainly in the wild area, so it's rare finding one here. Or, you know, it could not be. <laughs> I could be wrong. Zigzagoon, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna name him Eddie. Because it reminds me of... Yeah, and it's a guy, too, so... Reminds me of Eddie Van, Van Halen. Don't clock me in the chat. That's just what it reminds me of. So hey, Eddie. Maybe this will be a Nuzlocke. Maybe it won't. No, I'm not gonna trick myself into that. Oh goodness knows, this whole thing is just still full of questions. I'd hope my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Yes, that's my old lady voice. And yes, I skipped uh, Leon's for no reason. Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't notice my guests. Guests with a T. My name's Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. But I wanted... I know there's a Pokeball near here. I think there are two. Oh, well, I guess I'm inside anyway. Why, Hop, dear? I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be James. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. I'm not filling the Pokedex. Don't, don't make people want that. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, James? Professor Magnolia has been doing research on, into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know, like directions. Like how many different types of tea there are. <laughs> Why tea? <laughs> hey, Professor! Do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Yeah, why not? Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and, Hop and James are only just starting out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? Well... Yeah, you're not wrong. The goal precisely that reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. <laughs> Jesus, Hop, what are you doing? Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you, could, you two can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. He just sets his hand on the Pokemon and they're healed. He's Pokemon Jesus. That's why he's the champion. Actually, Pokemon Jesus is Arceus. Arce <laughs> Arceus. Yeah, there's one. Yay! I think this is... Grass Knot. It's not payback. I was wrong. Okay, let me click out. Thank you. Ooh, I wonder if any of my Pokemon can learn that. Have a advanced move in case of emergency. Where am I going? Over here. Okay. I was right. There's another Pokeball. Give me. 
A great ball. I'll save that for a legendary. Because <laughs> clearly everything can just be caught with a normal Pokeball. And a bottle of fresh water. Don't tell them I stole that. I could use some water right now. Actually, I have water right next to me, so why don't I drink that? ASMR of water. Oh, hurry it, hurry it up, James. We've got a battle. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. It's all about you, isn't it? Jeez, this is why I'm going to kick your ass. Sorry, excuse of one. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. <laughs> sure. Oh crap, I didn't get payback on the Pokemon. I'm rather interested to see how these two young trainers battle too. Why is his beard not purple but his hair is? Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn how to... I learn from every battle I see or take. Parton. That's how I gotten where I am today. To show me something good in this battle. Sure, at least I have a fashion sense. Actually, I want Hup's jacket because it just looks very pretty. Like, it looks soft. Yes, I was. And he's going to regret that. I think Water Gun will do fine for that. I have Bind, but I'm not using it. <laughs> sure, I'll use Bind on Woo Woo. That's what I'll do. I don't like how they're just staring in the background. It's not like it's gonna cause explosions. We're not high levels yet. You know, we'll cause explosions later, thank you. Is this the Wulu? No, this is not the Wulu that, like, got stuck in the forest. Low battery, oh no! War gun. Pew. Oh heck, that happened. Yeah, I landed a critical hit. Of course I got spirit. It wasn't just a fluke. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa, Eddie's going good over there. Score bunny, I'll keep this out. Or not. Do you, I, you have water gun. Sure, I will degrade you by not taking down your starter with mine. That's how this works. Oh, sorry, I had to stretch. I got away from the Pokeball. The, the microphone. Yes, I got away from the Pokeball. Water gun. Pew pew. <laughs> Your fire won't do much. Sorry. Right? Yeah, your fire didn't do much. But my water does. Oh, crap, that didn't do a lot. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to say that matchups thing every time I hit you with a water gun. What level is this Pokemon that it's not, like, it didn't just get one shot by water gun? I'll get take it down next time. I don't have takedown, but... I, I wonder if Dreadnought or this turtle can use it. There goes your score bunny. You're dead. He seems so happy and then he just falls down. Okay, what are you doing next? I'm sure I have some kind of Pokemon that can help. Eddie learned Wick. He learned how to show affection. Rookity, yes, I will change to Yamper because a Rookity is a fine type. So electric type moves do more. Do 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 do. All right, it'll be close. You haven't taken down any one of my Pokemon. You should have saved your starter for last. And then like, I don't know, attack me normally. <laughs> Nuzzle. It's super effective. Peck is not very effective. No, I wouldn't expect it to be. I'm surprised Nuzzle didn't do more. It paralyzed him though. It may be unable to move. No, it just can't move. It's impossible. 
I'm super effective. <laughs> okay, these battles may be a bit boring when they go on for so long, so I'll have to get stronger. You know, the whole name of the game, Pokemon, get stronger, gotta catch them all. I'm not catching them all, don't take my word for that, don't read anything into that. Oof. Got it that I lost, but I expect nothing else from my rival. Don't worry, I have the power of friendship and determination on my side. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hop, the anime protagonist. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too! Is that really what you're going on? That's the hill you're gonna die on, your Pokemon throw? The sting of defeat and the joy of victory! I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Just always so happy. James, hop. We'll have to see a match like that one. I have, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both endorsements. Do 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 do. I have gotten an endorsement letter. A letter of endorsement. Yeah, yeah. Why well, can't Magnolia give me one? She's probably selfless. I'm not reading. Oops. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. That's alarming. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things like that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still up so about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense but it seems like you've really grown a bit little brother and I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemons out of Pokemon battles out of you too James Pokemons thrilling Pokemons all right James you and I are gonna gonna go and train up against one another to aim for that champion title absolutely <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely excited for this. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? There's a shooting star. Yeah, sure what it is. Yay! Star pieces, right? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Yay. I have the wishing star. It'll help. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive. Yay! I know he said yes, but I like yay better. It fits his anime protagonist style. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wishes in their hearts, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever! I'll be the greatest trainer ever! I will... <laughs> I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times now, so surely my wish will come true, right? <laughs> Uh, that was so hard to do. <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are comprised of curious sorts of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gallo region. But they won't do anything for you in that state. Give them to me and I'll have them sorted. All right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give James and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we got a battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world, and now this, it really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. You have no idea. <laughs> I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Seems I came back home at the right at the right time in time for all the excitement. 
Yes, you did. Hey, you lot. Why don't we have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I'm totally obsessed with making the the latest trendy curries. Why is curry the only food in this whole place? Why can't I just have a hamburger? The classic American meal. Even though this game isn't taking place in America. Has a Pokemon ever taken place in America? You'll have to tell me. It's morning at... It's morning at last. The time for our adventure is to time to truly start. Good morning, you two young challengers. Hop, it is true. You really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize. Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Oh, wait, that's the wrong voice. Er, well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then an even weirder Pokemon appeared. James tried to fight it off, but I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. All a right fount of information you are. Yeah. James, James, hop, these are for you. Gotta make sure to read who I'm reading and not get the voices wrong. It's a Dynamax band. Thanks, Magnolia. Whoa, up close, my glove looks pretty. <laughs> these are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's it's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. Ha ha ha. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? You're just a fireball of energy, aren't you? I think you'll find it's not simply as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet in hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon your anime protagonist. That will help you fill out your Pokedex too. Oh jeez. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Dude, that sounds so eerie. Like, let's not have that happen. Come on, James. I'll beat you to the station. Yeah. But that's where I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to go out there and just overlook this nice scenery. Oh, God, you're here. One last thing before we race, James. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about in the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof stick? <laughs> Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. I don't know what that means, but it must mean something. <laughs> Try it out. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, James. Let's not. I'm ending this episode here. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Well, that's where we went to pick up Lee before. That's where the goal will be. So see you there. I'll just, like, teleport there. Abra, use teleport. Ooh, I want a psychic type. Anyway, can I sit in this? I can. So this is where I'll be leaving this episode. I will um, most likely be using Age of Calamity next and then drop off between Age of Calamity and Pokemon. I'm having so much fun playing this game now that I have better voices for everybody. I just need to get better at not mixing up their voices. But is everything frozen? Why aren't, why aren't the fish moving? Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, I will put the playlist in the description right after I make it. And on an end card at the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and turning on that bell. Have a great rest of your week. And just have a nice week. Thanks for watching again. Bye.